Good morning, gamers. How are we doing, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome to day number four of the Hardcore Iron Man adventure. I think we can probably keep, you know, keep the outfit on, perhaps, but we should probably get out of this area because we got some dailies to do. Wait, that is, though, 35 prayer. Wait, one of our steps later is to get 37 prayer for Dragon Slayer, and we are already 35. Okay, I will say, I, I resisted Nemi Forest. Nemi Forest appears to be kind of nuts. Wait, where's Mr. Plank? They got rid of Plank Guy? They removed him? Look how they massacred my boy. They dropped him off in Remington? 7,000 coins? Bro, what is that? Let's go buy a house and then... <laughs> Wait, they should adjust this to inflation. Instead of 1,000 coins, it should be like 20 million. All right, this is the only place I can afford a house. Don't take that away from me. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Uh, we are done our daily challenges. Prayer, construction, summoning. A couple summoning levels, couple construction levels, and a prayer level as well. We're one level away from our first deflect curse, or rather our first protect curse, which is really, really huge. Most importantly, though, we just got a death touch dart. That is unbelievable that on day four of a brand new account, you can get a freaking death touch dart. And I think we're going to go to KK. We have to, right? We have to. There's no universe where this isn't what we do. So let me gear up. Let me get some food. Let me get a teleport. And then we are going to Cal Fight King. Also, YouTube, I want you guys to know, if I ever seem a little disgruntled, I just want you to know that my Twitch chat literally just bullies me all day. It is incessant and it does not stop. How are you doing? Terrible. No, I'm good. Sorry, I'm just farming pity on YouTube. It's important. What level are they? 98! This is so fucking stupid. This is so stupid. This is so stupid! Steal skin! Steal yourselves! It's range phase. Go. Chuck it! Ha! Let's go, dude! Look, at least I didn't die. Look, I didn't get what we needed, but we did not die. Also, I want you to know, every other manly hard crier man in the clan, which is almost everybody in the clan, like tall and bigly, tall and girly, tall and poor, tall and short, and tall and wally, and tall and shortly, and tall small man, I want you to know you all have to do it too. I will also say, if you do do that, make sure to use anti before the boss spawns, because if it's range phase, you get insta-stunned and then you will die. Also, I want you guys to know, I get bullied in Discord too. So first off, Druin said, how do you how do you do fellow tall people? Which is me talking to the clan, obviously. Jump posted this, and then Zach was like actual footage of Ryan fighting somebody. And then I said, am I the big one or the small one? Which is a fair question to ask. Like, you know, am I the big one or the little one? Because I could be either. He said, you're the boxing glove. Anyway, I just want you guys to know that I really, truly, honestly, dead ass hate it here. Okay, we just finished Jack of Trades for the day, and we are now level 35 agility, having not trained agility at any point. Hello, fellow short people. <laughs> it's just against, you know, we don't have too many rules in the clan. That just, that happens to be one of the few rules we have. Okay, you know what, I'll, I'll unban him, I'll unban him. This is so unethical. This just... It does feel kind of wrong, but like, look at my stats. I'm base, almost base 30 everything, right? And the only skills I've actually trained on this account are runecrafting, magic, and rage. That's it. Those are the only three skills. So I don't think really anything we're doing is ethical, but they put it in the game. I'm gonna do it. Two-ish minutes ago, we were level, I believe, 33 farming. We are now level 38 farming. We did 14 quests yesterday, which... For me, that's pretty good. Although I do think we're going to beat that number today because we're starting today off with Murder Mystery, Plague City, Biohazard, Fight Arena, Trino Village, Grand Tree Observatory, RFD, Nature Spirit, Elemental Workshop 1 and 2, Sea Slug, and then Fishing Contest. A grand total of eight Vizwax. Change that up a bit. That's workable. 59. All right, we saved the run. That is Murder Mystery quest complete. Three QPs, crafting XP, a little bit of money, which we will take. I'm now level 16 in crafting. And it is finally time to start the already kind of Prif Plague sort of quest series. So we're going to get into that with Plague City. Let's go. Alrighty, Plague City quest complete. Next up on the chopping block is Biohazard. Okay, Biohazard quest complete. 77 quest points, which means we can go to May and get ourselves another bunch of money and hopefully a fortunate component. A little bit of thieving XP, not terribly important. And we are going to keep things moving. Next quest on our list is fight arena yeah hoping for an elegant skirt to go with my doctor gown unlucky absolutely unlucky but we will take the 250k because i am steadily running out of money from rune runs 
Alrighty, do we get level 45? Yes, we do. Let's go. 45 means we can finally access the larger jars and the larger automatons on our cressing and caches. So our cash runs just got about two minutes faster. They should make marriage be a thing and have your spouse's ring be a passive. Could you imagine how bad World 3 Lumbridge would be? You could get RuneScape married and it was like official and like listed on your... Imagine for a brief moment how absolutely horrible that would be. It's the new court summons quest line, yeah. Instead of just like helping, I don't know, man level two get through some domestic thing, it's actually the divorce proceedings for RSN Fitma and RSN Putma. That is fight arena quest complete. Level 36 attack, 29 thieving, and a beautiful set of armor. Bit. <laughs> I will actually say it fits the character model better than... I would say at least half of the recent Yak Track editions. So what's next on our list? We've got Murder Mystery done, Plague City done, Biohazard done, Fight Arena done. We can start doing Penguin and God Statues as well. Okay, well, we should probably get those done. And then we get to do Trinome Village, Grand Tree Observatory. I love these first two quests. I am a huge fan of both of them. So it just says confined to East Karamja, last seen by the Musa Point Fairy Ring. Can I do it from across? Tell me I can. Tell me I've got the vision. Tell me I've got the range. Let's go, dude. All right, that's a huge save. Absolutely massive. That is the Tree Gnome Village quest complete. Gnome Amulet at a level 40 attack, which means Adamant Weaponry and our Brine Saber that we'll have to go and get. Wait, I can use Flurry and Greater Flurry. That's uh, not terribly helpful. What's my favorite quest? Um, So far, I think my favorite quest is the first one we did. Violet is blue so far has, it, honestly, no pun intended, blew me away. It was just a really fun, enjoyable, like cute greenscape quest. I have actually no hit chance. This is gonna be a problem. We, we may be here for a few minutes, chat. And it's entirely my fault too. I just, I forgot to bring the water runes. Oh yeah, I remember fast drag. I was actually here for like 10 minutes. Pause champ, pause champ, pause champ. <laughs> See you idiot. Alrighty, grand chief quest complete. Five quest points. Wait, that's actually so sick. Done, 44 attack, 41 magic. 38 agility, huge. He sends me a picture of him watching my stream every day. Squid, are you eating crotchy ramen? Hold up, zoom and enhance. What is that? I can imagine the crotch that that made. That is some crotchy looking ramen, my dude. Where's the seasoning packet? The observatory is nowhere near here. Oh, yeah, you're, you're right. I was supposed to go from here to there and I instead went from here to there, and nobody said anything in, until I got to there. So now all I need is Rotten Tomato and Ashes. So the Rotten Tomato, wait, can I get one here maybe? No, I can't, okay. Let's go to Brock. There's some right next to oh, I just teleported from four tiles away from a literal crate of Rotten Tomatoes to go look for run. Okay, we're, we're trying our best. And that is the start of RFD done, actually. Easiest quest point of all time. All good, and we are now moving on to Nature Spirit. That is Nature Spirit quest complete. We are now sitting on 91 quest points, which honestly is kind of nuts. Okay, that is Elemental Workshop to one done. About a two minute quest. Five crafting levels, three smithing levels. Not bad at all. All right, on to the second one. And that is Elemental Workshop 2 quest complete. That was not my favorite quest ever, but we are now sitting on 93 quest points, which means I think it's time for a quick break to get our Curse of Sweeper done. And then we're going to continue questing because I want to hit 100 quest points today for sure. We have now surpassed our old Iron Man fast drags uh, quest points from like episode eight, which was like 1600 total in four days. That is how inefficiently and ineffectively I played fast drag. Not that I regret doing it like that because, you know, I was just having fun. But, you know, if we're trying to fast track to the end game, I think that's what we're doing right now. Like this has been a really, really impressive start. All right, let's check our loot. Wait, seven mil? Just doubled my bank value. No big deal. All right. It's time to get level 30 fire making so that we can do the sea slug quest. Why are we doing this? Can I say, this is why we needed the HelloFresh sponsorship. <laughs> because without them, we're doing this. I will say, that is not the worst thing I've had in my mouth. Alrighty. That is fishing contest complete. Wait, that was a ton of levels. From 17 all the way to 27 and a quest point on top of it all. Did I call it the wrong thing? Oh, whatever. Alrighty, fishing contest complete. The world's shortest quest. We are now sitting on 95 quest points. Honestly, not bad. The next quest we gotta do though is quite a lengthy one. It is Shiloh Village. How many QPs for it? It's worth two. Okay. Alrighty, Shiloh Village done. 
beautiful. Now we're looking at 97 quest points and we are level 35 crafting. So if we're looking at the pathway here, I'm at the point where I'm supposed to train fishing up to 53. I feel like I should just do that on my own time. How many QPs for that? Three. So why don't we just do Shades of Morton? Yeah, we don't need to do Demon Slayer. This is bad. This is actually bad. Uh, 42 magic. Okay, might help a little bit. Yeah, this is like actually tricky business combat wise. My brother just messaged me on Discord. He said, you left your phone in the kitchen. I didn't have mine. So I went to check the time on your phone and it scanned my face and instantly unlocked. He doesn't even look like, I swear he doesn't look like me. I swear he doesn't even look like me. Brother does not look like me. Phone is racist, 100%. Cancel Samsung, they are racist. It has nothing to do with my brother and I looking similar. Figured it out. We don't even look like each other. He's completely different. He's taller, but he's way less manly. That is Shades of Morton done. Another like two minute quest. Nothing huge there. Main thing being the uh, bit of herb XP and three quest points, which is actually a hundred, which means we are averaging 25 quest points a day since the creation of the account, which is pretty nuts actually. Let's go open up our second uh, QP dice of the day. Hopefully uh, we get something good. I think there's still the small ones. I'm pretty sure, but uh, we'll see here. Yeah, still tier one, but I think the next one we get tier two. So 50 quest points as well from having Trials gear, which is tier 75. Honestly, really solid. Black Play Bloody H1 is a fortunate component, and we got ourselves 250,000 GP as well. We definitely look similar. We definitely look similar. We do not look the same. I, okay, well, that's actually a bad picture. <laughs> that is a bad example of that. Okay, he doesn't look so much like me that he should be able to unlock my phone. Okay, like, we do look similar. He should not be able to unlock my phone. Which one am I? You know which one I am because I didn't graduate. Also, one of these days when we're AFKing something, we should do the Amazon stream. I have a, a bunch of Amazon packages that you guys ordered for me, and I just want to get them opened and over with because a lot of them are really cursed. Would you guys want to do that tonight? We could just do it now. Like, while we're training fishing. Do it now? Okay. Now, before we do this, I want you to know some of the items are very, very cursed, and I need everyone, once in chat, if you're not going to report me to the Twitch police, okay? Okay, I see twos and sevens. Welcome to the Amazon portion of the stream. I am going to go and collect a number of packages. Um, so worth noting, these are all things that you guys ordered for me. The, the goal was to improve the vibes of my room. That was your guys' mission. I gave you a budget. You guys got to order products for me. I didn't get a choice in any of this. The first item, it reads, keep out gamer at play, battling enemies, defeating end bosses, smashing cars, Mastering moves, blowing stuff up, do not disturb, leave food and drinks at door, litter, enter at own risk. <laughs> Pippin, what do you think? Do you like it? I'm actually, I'm literally hanging this up. No, not the front door of my house, the door of my room. Why do I not have a, oh my, Pippin's eating the ramen. Pippin, no, okay, wait. <laughs> I gotta get rid of it, one second. <laughs> um, the second product we already unboxed, it was a set of Minecraft bed sheets. I'm not currently using them, but I did use them for three or four nights. I did not sleep at all. The thread count was a, sig a single digit integer and I hated it. Our next product just says creepy party made in China. And I do not know what it is. That feels like hair. Wait, what? <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? Wait. Oh my God, you see out the Pippin, buddy? All right, I gotta get the cat. The most cursed items. The items that could very well get me banned. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is the worst day ever. Why are there bells? They're gonna ring in my ear. Okay, follow-up question. How many primes do you think I farm with this bad boy on? It actually gets worse. The next item. I think this is a collar. I said I needed decor for my room. Did someone just say YouTube thumbnail? No, I'm deleting this VOD. I'm deleting this VOD. I'm actually, it couldn't get worse, right? Are th <laughs> I'm not wearing these. I'm not wearing these. What is wrong with you guys? Bro, I'm not <laughs> All right, you know what? Just keep going. I'm just gonna keep going. I, I don't know. I, okay, I know what this is. Like a, oh. There are so many parts. This is, where do these, I don't know where these go. Bro, that is not gonna fit me. 
Wait, it actually fits me. Finally feeling ready to get better at PVM. I took a leap and got around to printing out the PVME. It's been a lot to read up on, but I've never been more excited. Coach, you didn't. You did not print out the whole PVME. The whole thing? I still don't know where these go. A few moments later. Okay, can I say this though? Like deadass, deadass for a quick second. You guys were supposed to help me decorate my room and you instead decorated your streamer. If HR approves the thumbnail we're living. I am not gonna, no, this is not going in the video. Cushion. What did I join into? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, we're training fishing on our Iron Man. We are 100 quest points, 885 total. Just trying to get 53 fishing for the uh, Heroes quest. Outside of all that nonsense, I'm going to find somebody to raid over to. Thank you all so much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate the support on this series so far. It's been uh, it's been really, really nice to, to chat and chill with you all. And uh, yeah.